What defines you? Or which aspect of you is your identity? Your physical appearance? Your thoughts? Your actions? While I was preparing the speech, these thoughts stuck in my head. Am I the person who I thought I was today? It took me a long time to define identity in my own words. Identity is what makes me different from other people. The transitions and experiences in my life made who I am today, just like transitions and experiences in your life made who you are. If we think about these experiences, we can identify ourselves a little bit better. I spent my entire life in Korea. I lived in Seoul before I came to Daegu last summer. I was an ordinary middle school girl who studied underneath Korean education system. As you all know, Korean schools require a lot of studying. In Korea, the culture of competition influences everything in our lives. Even from middle school, students are ranked by their report cards every midterm and final test. I have experienced it, and the truth is, is even worse and harder than you think. Even teachers say that no matter how hard you study, your rank can never go up because most students also study hard as you do. So like others, I went to academies and classes with tutors so I can enter a prestigious university. But one day, due to the government's abrupt metropolitan decentralization policy, my father's company moved from the center of the Seoul to Daegu, and we also inevitably moved the house to Daegu as well. I felt as if a new life began for me in an anonymous place, and actually it did. And when I first came to Daegu International School, I outwardly seemed to adjust to my new school life. And many people told me, oh, you adapted in such short time, but mentally and physically I wasn't. I had nightmares almost every day, and my mind would wander all the time thinking of good old days with my friends. And I wanted my life to just revert to how it was before because I had to contend with my everyday life while I felt like my body was here but my mind was still in Seoul. And every time I felt like that, I tried to focus on positive aspects and tried to find the meaning that the transition gave me in my life. Yet, my new environment has enabled me to find another aspect of myself that I didn't know. I have an older cousin who I really like. She attended Korean high school but went to the US to attend the Georgia Institute of Technology, and now she works at a well-known company in Chicago as an advisor. Last winter, she came to Korea and told me how hard she worked to enter a good university. I could see her continual envidors produce a successful result for her, and I thought that nothing is impossible for a determined mind. Also in a similar situation with her, I become more confident and I think that I can accomplish anything if I try my best. She always works hard, tries new challenges, seems brilliant, and I want to be like her. She is my inspiration and gave me momentum to, tr to promise myself to study harder and try my best for anything and everything. Since then, I now study harder than before and look for new challenges. Before I met her, I didn't have enough motivation to try my best, so it was hard to study and hard to try my best. She gave me a strong desire to achieve my goal, and now I know that it's the ambitious people who work the hardest and succeed. Figuring out your identity isn't actually easy, but if you look carefully at the transitions and experiences in your life, it's way easier to know who you are. When you leave here today, I want you to think, what are the big transitions and experiences that have happened to you to shape your identity? How have the other people affected how you see yourself? And remember, try to focus on how you changed as a result of these experiences. Like me, maybe you can find another, maybe you can find inspiration to better yourself too. Thank you.